Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Friday the 19th of January. It's lovely to have you joining me this morning. I will be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer today. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. One of the Psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 95. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry ground. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if we will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading this morning comes from Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 to 19. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle and every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token for a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham and Japheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. 
We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ, Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookst upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood, make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, beginning at verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man travelling unto a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them another five talents. And likewise he that had received two, he also gained another two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so that he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents, Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been ever faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and I went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou that hast is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed, Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. 
Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto the one that hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and everlasting God, who dost govern all things in heaven and earth, mercifully hear the supplications of thy people and grant us thy peace all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, 
Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, as we come before you this morning, we come bringing the sorrows and the worries of our world. We pray for Israel and Gaza. We pray that there may be peace between those two countries. We also think of Ukraine and Russia. And we pray for peace between them as well. Father, we ask that you would encourage the coming together of their leaders, that they may talk and broker a lasting peace between themselves. Father, we bring to you our own country, the government, our prime minister, the cabinet, and we ask that you would give each of those leaders wisdom to make good decisions concerning our country and bringing good to all. We pray for our town of Rayleigh, for all who live here and for all who work here. We pray for the churches, the church leaders and the congregations as together they work to bring your kingdom to our land. We pray for our schools, for the head teachers, the teachers, and for the students. May you bless their learning and keep them safe. We pray for our high street, for all those who work in the high street and visit the high street. We pray for the shops, the hospitality outlets, the hairdressers, the barbers, the library, the pharmacies, the funeral directors, public houses, coffee houses. We pray for our care homes. We pray for the carers. And we pray for the residents. We pray for our local hospital at South End for the doctors, nurses, consultants, all those who work there and all those who are staying there at the moment. We ask for your healing for those who are sick.
and especially think of Sam. And we ask that you would heal him and he would be back home again with his family very soon. Father, we pray for all of those who we know who are unwell at this time. We continue to ask for your blessing on Wendy and for healing for her. all those awaiting treatment at the hospital, undergoing treatment at the hospital. Father, we ask your healing care. And Father, we pray for all of those who have been bereaved recently. We pray for Linda after the loss of her brother Stephen, and we pray for the rest of Stephen's family. Father, we ask that you would give them your comfort and strength in the days ahead. And Father, we bring you the prayers that have been left in the Allen Chapel this past week. We pray for Joe. I ask that you would bring her closer to you. We pray for Tommy Hargrave. To ask that he also would be brought closer to you. For Hannah, for Ben, and for Vi, that they would come to know you. We pray for Debbie Copeman, that she would be able to get rest at night and that she would draw closer to you. We pray for Ramona Wilmore and Susan Shelley throughout the coming year. We pray for Brigitte. We pray for healing for her after the death of her son. We pray for Jan, who's missing her dear mum. And we pray for those, all those who miss Gillian. Father, as we bring these prayers to you, you know the situations of all these people. We ask that you would walk with them and be close to them in the coming days. And Father, finally, this morning, we pray for ourselves as this brand new day begins. We ask that you would lead and guide us, staying close to us in all that we must do this day. Help us to follow you, to stay with you in all our doings. Father, we thank you that we know you hear our prayers that we make today in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God 
and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's been really good to have your company. I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. God bless. Goodbye.